and I'm riled up about this show. I don't know if you've seen it yet. It's called Moment of Truth. Uh, JR is apparently a huge fan. We've got to explain the premise of the show before you see the clip. The premise of the show is lie detector test, and then they ask you questions, and uh, if you tell the truth, you win money. If you lie, uh, you, you don't win the money. Now, you would think that's simple enough, but of course they're going to ask you terrible questions that you don't want to answer. Now, I saw a brief clip of this when it first was going to come on and decided instantly that this would be my least favorite show, even surpassing Biggest Loser and this show where they do The Swan, where they did plastic surgery on the women. God, that was, show was disgusting. The clip I saw was they had a guy on there, and he's strapped in, and then a fat lady walks on and goes, Are you disgusted by fat people? That's when I was like, I'm out. Okay, this, okay, that is, look, the thing is, it's wrong to do this to, to people on national TV. Uh, now, these guys aren't totally with me, so let's have a little bit of that conversation before you see this clip. And, and first off, Jay, Jesus, I want to go to Jesus first. You think it might be funny? Well, when I first heard about it, I thought the idea was funny. It would be entertaining. I mean, you want, I don't know how much the offer, a million dollars. Right. Then come on the chair and answer the questions truthfully. That's all you got to do. It sounds entertaining. Right. I mean, I mean, obviously when you hear all this shit they do to them, it's kind of fucked up, but you put yourself <laughs> in it, you know? No, no, no. And that's why I, what people do for this fame, it drives me crazy. Because they line them up there, they put them in the, you know, in the hot seat is what I, is, is what it seems to me. Mm -hmm. And you have select family members or friends that are sitting in a couch right in front of you. And, you know, you probably have husband, parents, best friends, things like that, husband or wife, whatever is sitting there, or kids even. And also part of it, they'll bring out a surprise person like the the, the overweight lady who came out and asked, do, you, or do fat people repulse you, whatever the question was. Right. So they surprise you also with somebody coming out. So previous to all this, of course, they ask you the questions when you're actually on a lie detector. So they they mentioned this at the beginning, and he, and he says, so if you lied during the lie detector test at any time, you can clear that all up tonight. You know, so right when they ask you the question, you could tell the truth now, and then they could, after you, after, every time you a answer a question, they'll say, that is, and no lie, they'll wait about five seconds between every time. That answer is, true. And it's, it's <laughs> Let's get to what happened the other night on the show. Now, this is, takes a while, uh, but it's dramatic for what it's worth. And then we'll rip it apart afterwards. Here they are. Ex-boyfriend Frank. Once again, question 15. <clears throat> Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? Her husband's sitting in the audience. A young cop in New York City. Right there, that guy. I already hate him. Instantly I hate him. Well, uh, uh, well, um, I'm going to be honest and say yes. That's some cold shit, man. That answer is... True. Question 16. Who doesn't hate the music? Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? I wish the button was still there. Yeah, it's telling me. I'm going to have to say yes. That answer is true. Okay, Lauren. Have you ever Question taken 17. it in the can? Do you think you're a good person? <laughs> Honestly, I think I am a good person. 
So your answer is? Yes. That answer is... It's true. It's true. False. Elbow from the sky. All for nothing. We can make peace with what happened here tonight. I, I wish them all the very best. See you next time. On the moment of you don't wish them the best, you wish them the worst. That's why you're hosting that show. No, no. Well, what happened? I'm not buying it. Hey, he's just... fucking hosting the show, the game show. Are you gonna tell me when the price is right and someone fucks up and they bid wrong, <laughs> Bob Barker should feel bad for them? No, he's fucking hosting the dude. That's cares? not the same as no, being you know wrong on detergent. It's not his fucking fault, though. It is his fault. Why? Because it's a shitty show. Okay. Yeah, I mean, blame it's... the show and the producers. He's just fucking. I... Host. He took the job. He's like, fuck. I'm working. Who cares? No, no, I understand that. And Jr. asked me the question before we did this segment. Would you take that job? Right? I would not. <laughs> that answer is false. <laughs> No, I'm playing, I'm playing. No. Finally, here's my outra outrageous thing that I'm going to say about this. I'm turned on by that girl. You're unbelievable, right? I'm unbelievable, right? Yeah. But look, this is my moment of truth. Do, 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 do. I'm actually turned on by her. True. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's something sexy about her. And you catch me marrying her? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, look, I don't want to get too, I don't want to brag about it. God forbid something wrong happens, right? But would I want to have sex with her? Now, who's the indecent one now? <laughs>